Here's the grandma mask. Are you going to talk to us? Yes, Sonny. Could you please take out the garbage? <laughs> yes, Grandma. I love you. All right, guys, today we are in Fargo, North Dakota. There's the RV back there. We drove all day yesterday to get here to this Spirit Halloween in an old Gordman's. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a Spirit Halloween where we still had the old sign so prominent on the front, and they didn't put the Spirit Halloween sign right over top of it. In fact, it's funny because there's two signs on this building, one right there and one way down there. That one is enormous and would have definitely covered the Gordmans, but they went with the small one there that doesn't cover it. Plus, I think it's funny how they tucked it under the D and then under the arch there, which would be very pleasing to my OCD if the sign were centered. Okay, let's go ahead in and see what they have in store at the Old Gordman's in Fargo, North Dakota. Now, this store actually, I mean, literally just opened minutes ago at 10 a.m. So we are going in with, like, nobody in here. <laughs> Look at this. I love how right at the entrance they have these guys so you have to walk through to see the rest of the store. Okay, maybe you don't. We got Lord Raven over here, but look at Possessed Pumpkin. Something about him doesn't look quite right. Like, his clothes are, like, very form-fitting or something. All right, well, let's get him going anyway here for our good morning. Uh-oh, he's not turned on. Okay, sir, you have the right to remain silent. Are you a partner in crime? Do you have the right to remain silent? Yes, apparently. Okay, well... These two criminals have the right to remain silent this morning. Although I do hear some other havoc going on throughout the store. So let's go see what's happening. This is a pretty big store, guys. I can't wait to get in here and dig around and see what we can find. It's super quiet except for the bog zombie. Well, the bog zombie who was moving over here. Good morning, boggy. Let's see if you'll talk to us. Yes, I did have my morning coffee. Apparently, you have not. You know what? Let's go say good morning to Monty over here before we do the rest of them. Good morning, Monty. Have you had your coffee? Uh-oh. Okay, well, we'll take that as a half a yes. Okay, back over here to Mr. Grimm. Let's see if he's had his coffee this morning. Uh-huh. He looks, looks like he's had about three quarters of a cup because he's moving very strangely. <laughs> All right, let's go on in and see what's going on in here. We have one, two, three, all four bubble tubes of death. It's so strange in here that it's so quiet, guys. I hear the bubbles of death right here. I hear crouchy Mr. Hair do. Oh my gosh, look at that hair. What in the heck is up with that fro? Hello, Mr. Jack. All right, let's check on Barry here. There we go. All right, well, Barry's making sounds with his bare feet. It is cold out here today, too. It's like a 40s when I woke up. So those feet, those tootsies must be seriously cold. That reminds me of one time when I was out filming, I stepped in some water so my feet were wet, and I was out in the parking lot changing my shoes and socks, and some old lady got out of her car and she goes, oh, your tootsies are gonna get cold. <laughs> All right, let's come on out and see who's over here. Oh, we do have Shorty. Good morning, Shorty. Have you had your coffee? Shorty, have you had your coffee? Apparently not. All right, how about Tombstone of Terror? Yes, he's definitely had his coffee. He may have even had two or three cups. Oh, look at this. We have to say hello to Mr. Punchy. Hold on a minute, wait a minute. Did I see what I think I saw right behind Punchy? It is a secret keeping cat. Look, he's like standing right behind Punchy saying, don't you say a word. Like for the very first time ever, he told a secret and it was to Punchy. Tell me what he said. 
please, I beg of you. All right, he's not gonna say a word. Okay, maybe he's gonna say a couple words, but he's definitely not gonna tell the secret. Look at him back there, just peering. Okay, let's go back this way and say good morning to the other animatronics back here and see if they've had their coffee. Hello, Nazi. Have you had your coffee? Your hot coffee. <laughs> I wonder if Nozzle spikes his coffee with hot jalapenos. All right, Betty, have you had your hot coffee or do you prefer hot chocolate? Look at this, this is funny. I love how somebody took the time to actually pull her hair back and like do her hair. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> Reagan has definitely not had her coffee yet. This little furry guy may have been sipping on a mug. Straw man's already going at it, so I know he's had his morning coffee. And bye-bye. I don't know what he's drinking, but he was one scary king of the world. All right, before we look at the animatronics for sale on the floor, let's go through the experimental room of electrical death. It has definitely had coffee poured all over it in here because it is going absolutely ballistic. Okay, maybe not anymore. All right, let's see what they have on the floor for sale here. We have life-size posable skeletons. We have a Grim right over here. Look at this, guys. We have three straw mans for sale over here. We have three Mr. Punchies. A whole plethora of stuffed dummy props. Look at this over here, guys. We have one, two Reagans here. Three hot nozzles. A giant deadly creeper. Oh, look, is this? Yep. They got a Betty Sharp right here. And three little skelly bones. Wait, 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 wait. I see even more up here around the corner. Yep, here we go, guys. Look at this. We have a young Crouchy. We have a Monty down here, two of the enormous possessed pumpkins, and of course we have Sinister Spirit dolls and Annabelle's. Oh, and look right around the corner. We have a whole plethora of good guys Chucky dolls, whole bunch of Chucky's and Tiffany's. And even though they don't have the blue or purple masks yet, I'm on the lookout now at these, uh, these costumes because in the store I was in yesterday, I was so excited to find what appeared to be an older costume. So now I'm gonna be on the lookout for them. I did not buy that one yesterday, but I have found older costumes in here before. Now here is the Chrome Edition with the full costume. The only reason I'm not gonna buy this is because first of all, a couple people have bought me this mask and they're sending it to me. The other reason is because the costume itself, when I buy the costume, I wanna set it up on a mannequin in my office and I wanna have like the legit sparkly costume like what they used in the first movie. So I'll either have to buy an older one or like the 25th anniversary or something. Same when I buy the white mask, I wanna get on eBay and order one that is actually an older mask from around the time the movie came out. Now I have considered buying this knife, like I've said before, this is a replica of the Buck 120, which is the kind of knife that they use in the Scream movie. And I've considered buying this for that display but I just haven't done it yet. Because honestly, I kind of want to go on eBay and buy a real one too. That's not very safe, but it is very cool. All right, let's take a walk around the store and see it. <laughs> Holy crap. Tombstone of Terror, that's the first time you've ever legit scared me. You just did a good job. You earned yourself some stickers, buddy. Oh, look at this. We have three of the Killer Clowns inflatables. These were up high in one of the other stores, so I wasn't able to see how much they are. These are $179.99, and you could use your 20% off coupon for those. While we're on inflatables, let's just come on over here and see what they have. They do have the Scarecrow Archway, the Jack-O-Lantern Archway. They have the Scary Clown Archway. We got ghosts, reapers, tombstones, gargoyles, haunted trees. Oh, they got the wolf, okay. The secret keeping cat, the coffin, and they have the hearse and the fright in the box. Some stickers for the bucket. Hello, rat, and hello, creeping cat. 
Hey, your buddy's up front telling secrets to Punji. I'm just saying, you might want to get in control of that. All right, we do have some creepy dolls here. We do have some zombie babies. You guys tell me, do you own any zombie babies? I would have to say that the burrito baby is probably the one that sells the best. I may or may not have had something to do with that. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the mask section here and see if there are any that we haven't seen. Yes, look at this, guys. Yesterday, we saw this guy in one of the stores for the very first time, the Universal Monsters Mummy. I don't know what the fourth one is, but I know when I was in the flagship store, I saw all three of those and one more. I'm sure of it. Excuse me, sir. You could probably use some aloe vera. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Okay, two masks that I have not seen in other stores. Can you see them right now as I'm standing here? Yes. The first one is this one right here from House of a Thousand Corpses. I have never seen this mask before at all. I honestly don't care too much for that movie, but that is a super freaky mask. And look how the hair moves. That is so creepy. Also the eyes. Look at that, how the eyes are not completely cut out. It's just like little tiny eye holes for you to look out. That, get out of my face, sir. You are too creepy. I don't even love you. I don't love you. And the second one is this one right here, guys. The creep show mask. Look at this thing. Creep show scared the living crap out of me when I was a little kid. Let's turn over here where there's better light. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he is so absolutely creepy he's not only creepy he's creep showy i'm pretty sure we've seen everything else that's up here look at this skeletal crow mask i don't know if i've seen this one. Oh, it's one of those where the jaw actually moves when you talk how you doing mr crow oh not too shababbly here's a hooded bird mask that looks like it basically does the same thing yeah the same thing. Here's the grandma mask. Are you going to talk to us? Yes, Sonny. Could you please take out the garbage? <laughs> yes, Grandma. I love you. Oh, this looks like the hat that Isaac was wearing in Children of the Corn. It's called a farmer hat. If you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it. I went to where they actually filmed Children of the Corn, and it was spooky. All right, let's head over this way for a minute and see if we can find anything else that... All right, hold on. Whenever I see this stuff, I hate to pass it up just because it's so cool. They got the Ghost Face inflatable here, the Sam inflatable, the Sam greeters, and a Chucky greeter, Pennywise sidesteppers, Sam sidesteppers, and Billy Butcherson sidesteppers. I believe I bought one of these this year, but I can't remember. Ooh, they also have the spiky sidestepper. They have two of them, and they have one, two, three of the popcorn clown statues and the Lydia sidesteppers. These little Freddies bobbing away over here. Oh, and look, they have the Michael Myers string lights. Okay, so look at this. Here is a plush zero. And guys, he looks bigger. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't just a plush zero. This is a zero backpack. What the heck? Yeah, look at this. There's a zipper pouch in his back where you can put cool stuff. Imagine walking around with zero on your back. All right, let's take a peek back here at the uh, costumes, see if there's anything different. This one, oh my gosh, had me cracking up so hard in one of the other stores. I thought it was Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh, and I could not stop laughing through the whole store. Ah, oh, and you know I'm hungry when I go straight for the chip and salsa costume. Look at these morph costumes over here. What the heck is this? Orc jaw dropper? Okay, that must be like partly inflatable or something. And then what? Oh, this is another one. A green orc jaw dropper. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's like Mr. Goodbody. It's a morph suit that looks like the skin has been removed. If you don't know who Mr. Goodbody is, just look him up on YouTube. He actually used to wear a suit like that. Look, we have a Laughing Jack morph suit. And what's this one? Jeff the Killer? And what the heck is this one? Zalgo? I've never even heard of that, but it looks pretty dang creepy. Look at this furry Viking axe. What the heck? And what is this? It's like a mini dragon. It's a pet dragon. It sits on your shoulder. A shoulder dragon. It's got straps on it that you wrap around your shoulder so he'll sit there and not move. That's actually pretty heavy. I wish he was animatronic. That would be sweet. 
if he were sitting on your shoulder and like turning his head around and making noises. Oh my gosh, guys, look, it's one of the only stores that I've ever seen both Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man. And I love that they have the Krusty Krab jacket here. Hold on, I gotta show you the back. I think I've shown you before, but there you go. It's Mr. Krabs with a slice of pizza and it says the pizza for you and me. And it comes with the hat. All right, guys, that is it for this store in Fargo. Awesome store, absolutely enormous. And I love how they had the laboratory entrance right here at the entrance to the old Gordman's. And I bought this guy. Make sure you stick around, guys, because we are filming 100 stores this season. This was store number 48. The next one is Bismarck, North Dakota, with Joe Bean videos.